advise everyone going for a massive cover instead of going for the old traditional covers for your iPhone. So in this video, I'm going to explain why everyone is going for massive cover and what is a massive cover made up of. So please, if this is your first time, don't forget to click on the like and subscribe to this channel. Why everyone is going for a massive cover is simply this: a massive cover charges even while you fix the cover it charges faster wirelessly so when you connect even after we're putting the cover on the phone once you connect the charger is still charged unlike the old traditional cover that whereby once you put the cover you want to charge your phone wirelessly you have to remove the cover for you to be able to charge so with MagSafe cover you don't need all that once you connect the wireless charger at the back it charges automatically so now we're going to be explaining what is a MagSafe cover made up of that makes it to be able to charge even after putting the cover on the phone what do you think MagSafe covers are made up of? In this video, I'm going to be doing a little what I may call an experiment to or expose to be able to show what these MagSafe covers that are out there are made up of. And what we need to do this experiment is number one, a MagSafe cover and this coin. So what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be tearing this MagSafe cover apart to see what it's made up of. Now, the first thing is this. When you look at this part, it's made up of just plastic. This pure plastic when you press it. Pure rubber plastic. But the main thing that makes this MagSafe so special is its ability to be able to charge when you connect the phone inside the cover and you connect a wireless charger on it and it's able to charge and, and i'm going to show you what makes it to be able to work that way first thing we have to do we have to tear this apart the magsafe logo which is the main thing that makes it to be able to charge very well which i'm going to be showing you what is in this now first we start with the down one let me remove this you can see how it looks like I wonder what this could be. I'm going to remove it. This is one of it, which is the from the MagSafe logo. That's where we are being is being removed. Then the next one is this. You can see this is what makes a MagSafe cover. This is the main thing that is needed on a MagSafe cover. The rest is just a mere formality, a mere plastic. If I've been thinking. What could have been making a MagSafe to charge even with the cover being on, on it? Once you connect the wireless charger, it charges. We have a coin over here. There's a coin. Then we have the MagSafe stuff. Then look at what I'm going to do. When you do it, this is how it looks like. Then the smaller one, let me also try this one to see if it stick. As you can see, it stick to the coin. What it simply means is that the MagSafe covers, what they did is that they just get the plastic cover then add a magnet on it. You can see the magnet, how it looks like. They put it around. This is a pure magnet. And the reason why we know it's a magnet is that when you get a metal and connect it to a magnet, it sticks to each other. It gets magneted. So that's what is happening you can see all these are magnets so it's the magnet that makes the MagSafe to be able to charge wirelessly that's just it so thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more